What is good with y'all boys? I'm back. So you're probably wondering where have I been? Well, I've been banned for a week on YouTube. Basically, I got a strike on my channel for a video that I had to upload it like when I first started making videos. Uh, if you guys remember the EDP situation with the cupcake, you know, the, the cupcake situation. Basically, they said that video was cyberbullying. And I basically, I got a strike uh, and I could upload for a week, but I've still been on Twitch. We've still been playing a lot of mad. I've been keeping up with all the content, just have not been able to make videos. So these next couple days, there's going to be a lot of gameplays I'm dropping with the new content. I saw the new Frazier cards coming out. Basically, this video is going to be me going over the team because there's a lot of changes we did for the team. And just kind of talking about what's been going on and things like that. So, no worry. We are back. You did not see the Frazier cards we're getting tomorrow. We're getting 99 Reggie White. He is a monster. Obviously, I'll drop another video tomorrow going over those new cards that I'm picking up. We're also getting Jordan Poyer. Now, all the 90s do get all the team chems, but I guess like the true Eagles we're getting are those two. And they're pretty good. I'm probably going to end up picking all those guys up. So, there is that. But now, I'm going to go over basically... The whole team, because there is a lot of changes we made to the teams, offense, defense, even special teams, guys that we tried out and things like that to give you a little, little bit of a preview of what gameplays I'm going to be dropping the next couple days. I got a couple dropping today, a couple dropping tomorrow, a lot of gameplays dropping. Let's go on ahead and go over these players. So left tackle, you as you can see, I do have John Madden market edge protector and threat detector on them. Now you're probably wondering why am I using edge protectors now on my tackles over secure protector. The reason why, from knowledge that I've learned, basically how edge protector works Edge protector is made is used basically to cancel out edge threat, edge threat elite, and no outsider. Secure protector is pretty much made to cancel out uh, double or nothings and inside stuff. So honestly, secure protector is better to use on your interior alignment, like centers, guards, and things like that. Um, so that is why I'm doing that. I, obviously, uh, John Madden. If you guys don't know, you can almost get them for free since the Eagles. We got a couple team of the year cards. You throw two team of the year cards in the set, you get a free John Madden, which is what I did. So. Uh, and I didn't know that John Madden actually was drafted by the Eagles. So he's not only does he get all team counts, but he's a true Eagle. As you can see, I also have a new left guard. We got Azaria Cleveland. I'm going to explain to you why I got this guy. It's not going to be his discount. So he gets, you know, secure, nasty streak, you know, discounted. No, 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 no. Those aren't the reasons why he's discounted. Go ahead and take a look at his general stats. What's that next to that 88 agility? The man's got 90 speed. This is a 90 speed uh, guard at 6'6", 6 6, 311 pounds. I have runs where I, these guys are pulling, getting out there. So that nasty zero AP nasty streak, yeah, it's lethal. So he's the real deal. Uh, I still have Jason Kelsey's playoff card. I don't even plan on picking his team of the year card up. It's just no point. Uh, you know what I mean? For me personally, his discount wise and stat wise, I could end up using this playoff card the rest of the year. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, right guard, we still got Nate Davis. You know, same thing, same thing. Uh, we do have Lane Johnson. I think he's uh, also one of my BND guys I put in the set for John Madden. I'm just rocking zero AP edge protector on him. Lane has been very good. I can't lie to you. He has been a statue out there. Well, I guess I shouldn't say a statue. I should probably say he's been he's been a wall. He's been he's been, he's been like a dam. All right, he's he's been clogging guys up. So I guess probably a better thing to say. Uh, tight ends have been the same. Just got Travis Kelsey, Zach Ertz. Nothing's really changed there. Uh, wide receiver one still Carl Michael Bolden still back up. Running back still the same. Now quarterback. See, we got Jalen Hurst team of the year. We got two QB gameplays dropping today. Then I got another one dropping tomorrow. We got a lot of QB gameplays coming out. I used Michael Vick. Like I said, gameplay with him. Wait, gameplay with him and Jalen Hurst is dropping today. We're dropping both of them today, right? Um, but I'm going with Jalen Hurts over Michael Vick. Reason why, for me personally, I'm spending the same AP on both of them. Three AP, because you guys know I don't, you know, I don't really use High Rod Master. Even though in the gameplay, I'm, uh, you guys are going to watch with Mike Vick, I was using High Rod Master. I spent the five AP on him, but. And long term, how I go is passive elite, fearless, gunslinger. Don't need high rise master. Right? So I'm spending the same AP. So really for me, it comes down to who's got the better release. Jalen Hurts. They changed Michael Vick's release. He does not have generic threat anymore. They gave him Slinger 1. I know some people like Slinger 1. I'm not a Slinger 1 guy. I don't know why they changed it because he had generic 3. If he would have had the same release as Jalen Hurts, I would have won Michael Vick because, look, I'm a huge Mike Vick fan. I am Mike Vick. I love Mike Vick. But... Gotta go with Jalen Hurts, man. And honestly, I could probably end up using him the, uh, the rest of the year. And I will say this. The only way I honestly see myself getting rid of Jalen Hurts is if maybe they drop a Randall Cunningham. They get like one AP. 
pass lead, fearless and gunslinger. Yeah, it's got to be one AP. If not, then Jalen Hurts is the guy for the rest of the year. So that's what it is. For any of you guys that are wondering how much better is Jalen Hurts' team of the year than his uh, playoff or Super Bowl card, uh, it's only one AP difference. I think Hyrule Master from is the exact same. The only difference between his team of the year card and his uh, Super Bowl card is that his team of the year card gets zero AP gunslinger. The Super Bowl card gets one AP gunslingers. So basically, you're saving one AP with this card. Uh, Jalen Hurst, though, uh, well, he was B and D, and then I didn't think Vic was gonna come out, and then I was like, oh my god, Vic came out, I picked him up, and then I realized he had Slinger 1, and I was like, well, what the hell is this, but, hey, you know what I mean, uh, fullback, we still got Refrigerator Perry, he's still doing great, and wide receiver 2, you see, we got Deshaun Jackson, now, obviously, there's a couple different options here, you know what I mean, you got Deshaun Jackson, Team Deer, AJ Brown, uh, hell, even playoff, uh, card AJ Brown, now, Deshaun Jackson's AP, I'll be, I, I used him last night, this card on the field is very good. I didn't really get a lot of chance to return any kicks with them because nobody ever kicks to me. But uh, Deshaun Jackson's AP is terrible. Team of the Year AJ Brown's AP is terrible. If you really want to know like the best lineup for the receivers, you got to go with Carmichael. I would say the playoff card AJ Brown. I don't know who the third guy you would honestly go with because I don't use the receivers. So that's up for, to you to really, I guess, decide. Oh, Keenan Allen. I don't know why. Keenan Allen. Really the best two, I'll be honest, Carmichael, Keenan Allen, and then the third one I would say would be the playoff, uh, A.J. Brown. Not Deshaun Jackson, not the team of the year, A.J. Brown. Uh, I'm doing this strictly off AP-wise. Stats at this point of the game do not matter. It's about AP. That that You know what I mean? That's where we're at. But I'm using Deshaun Jackson to wide receiver too, just because I'm a sucker for Deshaun Jackson, even if he looks like Michael Crabtree, Patrick Mahomes is number 15. But hey, uh, if you're wondering what abilities I'm rocking on, because his dis discounts are... A tr I mean, right. he gets zero AP return, man, that's cool, but the rest is garbage. I mean, he gets one AP short end, which isn't bad, but the problem is, at this point in the game, for your wide receivers, I feel like if you're going to have short end discounted, you got to rock short out with it. It's got to be this, something you pretty much put together with it, and he does not get short out discounted, nor does he even get route tech uh, discounted. So I'm rocking short out for two AP and short out for one AP. I'm paying three AP. And I'm able to do this just because I don't rock hot route master. So I basically have all my route running abilities. I have, I really don't have a, like, only if I, let's say for example, I had this kind of AP on the Sean Jackson, what extra AP would I even use? I don't know. I just, I would just start putting random stuff on like red zone threat and deep bad elite. So it's like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm fine with it, but I would not recommend honestly, you know, AP wise for you getting the Sean Jackson, but his play on the field is pretty good. All right, now for the defensive side of the ball. Now, like I said, for Frenzy promo, we're getting two new Eagles tomorrow, so I will be adding Jordan Poyer, um, and I will be adding Reggie White. Probably what I'm going to end up doing is uh, Josh Sweat is going to probably hit the, well, not probably, he's going to hit the bench. I'm picking Reggie White up. He gets zero AP edge threat elite. Yes, that is the most insane thing I think I've heard all year. And I think what's going to happen is Brian Dawkins, I'm just going to move him to linebacker. I'm going to use Jordan Poyer in his spot. Um, and CJ, I might just sell. Honestly, I, I would get rid of Kaiser, but he's BND. So I don't know how we're going to do it, but we still got Mills. Pretty much the only differences we've really made on defense. Hassan Reddick's team of the year has been added. I'm rocking Edge Threat Elite for 1 AP. And I'm rocking Unpredictable for 0. He's been damn near unblockable with that. And as you can do see, uh, Darius Slay is gone. And you know what's crazy? I seen this morning uh, that uh, Darius Slay is uh, he's getting released, which is pretty sad. I'm not going to lie to you, which I had got rid of Darius Slay off the team before that. Just because, if you guys remember on Saturday, if you do, well, if you don't even know, there was a glitch basically to where uh, the Ultimate Legend LTDs were literally coming out of every single pack in the morning out of TVPs if you open them. And that's, you know, I noticed, because if you guys remember, I bought that Darius Slay card for like 2.8 mil. And that day, uh, he was selling for 4 mil. Uh, hey, a man about profits, man. I, you know, Michael Vick Corner came out, who gets literally the same exact AP, and he's only 200,000 coins, because I'm rocking deep out for zero. Oh, no, pick artist for zero, and deep out uh, zone KO for one. I'm only missing out on the Acrobat, but it is what it is. This Vick card's been really good. I got a gameplay dropping with him, too, uh, in a couple days. So uh, We also got the John Madden D tackle card. He gets inside stuff for zero. I think I have him up to a 96 overall right now. Kemmed up, he's a 97, so pretty big w uh and i guess the last thing we did is we do have uh justin tucker i mean I, i'm sorry man he is 99 kick power i couldn't help myself he's probably going to be my kicker literally for the rest of the year unless they drop an eagles kicker with 99 kick power if they don't then it's tucker for the rest of the year so 
Uh, and if you do put the Sean Jackson at kick return, he's uh he's in the gold 99, so that's pretty cool. But good luck getting anybody to kick you the ball. I literally can't get anybody to kick me the goddamn ball. Uh, and I did actually get a new strat card for offense. I am now using Sprinter. I don't know if it's gonna let me look at it because you know that okay, it should. No, it's about to glitch out, I think. No, it's good. All right. So Sprinter basically what it does for offense, you get three plus acceleration, two plus agility. 2 plus uh, change of direction, 2 plus break tackle for the running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks. Basically all skill position players except for tight end. So, because I didn't, because originally I had to let it rip. I don't really need it anymore. Jalen Hurts gets 99 throw power stock uh, because he has 98. And then when you have like 50 out of 50 Eagles or I guess any 50 out of 50 theme team, it gives him 1 plus throw power. So, I didn't, there was really no more point of having it because the only point was to give my quarterback throw power. And now guys get it stock. So, yeah, that is basically kind of, you know, what we're doing with a uh, team. Uh, like I said, Sweat's going to be going tomorrow. Reggie White's going to be there. And Dawkins, we're going to move him to linebacker. Put Poirier at safety. Even though I really don't like Poirier cars. It's going to be Poirier's last chance. If he cannot get it done, then he's just done, man. I'm done picking his cars up. I don't know who I'm going to get rid of between Kaiser and CJ at linebacker. I low-key want to get rid of Kaiser, but he's BND, so I might just get rid of CJ because I'll get some coins. Uh, really disappointed that CJ did not get a card. I cannot lie to you. Uh, it is what it is, though, man. But, yeah, we got a lot of gameplays going to be coming out these next couple days to miss out on all the, uh, you know, content, I guess, that I have been banned for because like, we've been, we, we've still been playing the game. We've been over on Twitch running up. We're going to be live tonight. Don't know how much mad I'm going to play tonight just because I'm kind of waiting for the new cards to come out tomorrow. But... We are going to see, but that is pretty much going to do it, though, boys. Like, comment, subscribe, man, and your boy is out.